Upon entering the esophagus, a Zanker's diverticulum was readily identified. The characteristic triad of the diverticulum, septum, and esophageal lumen were easily seen. An NG tube was first placed under endoscopic guidance and over a guide wire into the gastric lumen. This helped to further stabilize and identify and better visualize the septum. The hook knife was then introduced and the myotomy could be started. The dissection of the septum is performed beginning at the superior part of the cricopharyngeal bar. An automated blended cut and coagulation current or pure coagulation current is most often used, similar to that used during ERCP. The incision is started in the midline and directed caudally toward the inferior aspect of the diverticulum. As the cricopharyngeal muscle fibers are visualized, the hook knife can then be introduced between the individual fibers or between a bundle of fibers and a controlled stepwise incision of the cricopharyngeal muscle can be performed. This also allows the dissection to be completed by using a pulling back technique with the hook knife in order to complete the cut. This avoids putting forward pressure on the posterior esophageal wall and minimizes the risk of perforation.